Hey guys, it's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm NY, and I thought it was way past time for a farm update. So come on, let's go check out what's been going on. It's been a while since I'd showed you guys our garden. So even though in upstate New York it's starting to feel like fall, we still have quite a bit growing. The cabbages, the purple cabbages are still in. We started a new row of radishes and beets over here. The peas are done, but I'm letting them dry to keep some seeds. Whoa, what, love? I picked potatoes. You picked tomatoes? The zinnias are beautiful, and they just keep growing. This is acorn squash plant in here. We've got some ready to pick, maybe. Put a few in here. I've also got one spaghetti squash plant. I've harvested one. But it doesn't seem to grow as many fruits as the acorn. Cucumbers are still coming on ridiculously strong. The hardest part about them is that I didn't trellis them, so I have to go hunting through all the green, and my vision is awful, so. Cucumbers galore. We've already made some refrigerator pickles. Zucchini are starting to calm down, but we're still getting some really nice, beautiful zucchini. We started these from seeds we got from Baker Creek. And we have done so little weeding. So like there are some weeds, but it's because we've really done so little weeding now that the plants have come on so strong. These are strawberry plants. There's some weeds in there, but I'm nervous because every time I think I'm pulling a weed, I'm pulling strawberries. So next year, this whole bed will be strawberries. There's a couple watermelon over there. We have zinnias in every corner. These were pepper plants. They're kind of winding down now. We did banana peppers and green peppers. We got several, which is more than we've ever gotten before. These were purple potatoes that we dug up. Eva Rosie's picking some tomatoes. We've gotten a decent harvest of tomatoes. Are you doing a good job? Let me see. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Show me. Can you pick it up and show people? Let me see. Show the camera. Oh, those are good. Do I eat one? Yeah. Do I eat one? Yes, please. please. So this is the pasture that Matt and I just finished, Here, and eat this one. just like that, he has put Here, it boar goats now. in it. So the big you, black and white one, you. the big black and white one is the buck. Hello. It's right there, and then um, there's four four does in there with him and then the two Nubian does that Michaela had we were going to sell them because we had no buck and nothing to do with them but now we have the boar buck and since our Nubian does are so big uh, we're just going to breed them to the boar buck and then they'll be in milk and we'll have some more market babies so the plan for next year is to have um, not just lamb but goat pork and turkeys we're going to raise about 50 turkeys I'm working on a plan for them to be building a, a mobile turkey hut that we can move around and um, keep them safe and let them grow. So the goats are doing a decent job of clearing this out, but it is just a beautiful day. It's like 65 and sunny. You really can't ask for better working weather. We're having um, deck construction put on the house, so I kind of run out here when they're not working. So we're getting a big deck built and it's quite noisy. But, and Chloe's big sunflowers are blooming. They're beautiful, huge. Those are the mammoth sunflowers. Our sweet corn did not do very well. I'm gonna try a different variety next year. Um, none of it was really big enough to eat. But behind it is the gem corn. So hopefully that's fun. 
What'd you say? Come, come. We've got lots of pumpkins. Oh, let me see if I can find the. There's a blue pumpkin. So. Okay, let me find the other pumpkin. For all the pumpkins I planted, I feel like we don't have that many pumpkins themselves. But, and also, these gourds decided to trellis themselves on our fence. So we've got quite a few swan gourds over there. And then they're all over the ground. But, what do you think, Eva Roo? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is this is that gem corn. It's supposed to be really pretty colors. I love decorative fall vegetation, gourds and pumpkins and sunflowers. The goats are just lounging. They love the warm sun. These are marigolds that Chloe got me for Mother's Day in May and I transplanted and they're just huge. What do you think? Yeah, the tomatoes that were steaks are really droopy because it got rained on and the rain is heavy. Look at how beautiful these zinnias are. Chloe and I think they look like they're on fire. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the garden and the goats. We've got three little baby dolings that are in another um, pasture. We put them in at night and we don't want them to be with the buck because they're too young to have babies. So. So they're on their own, but they seem happy. And let's go see if we can find them and check them out. This is Panda singing his sweet love songs. He smells really bad. Boy goats do really gross things to attract ladies. And they sing their little love song. So that's one of the Nubians we left in there, and then the does. What's up, Panda? You singing? She doesn't like your singing song. I know that feeling. Nobody likes my singing songs either. This little girl came with Panda. She's kind of in rough shape, so we've been giving her lots of minerals and good grain and we dewormed her so hopefully she's back on the road to being healthy her coat already looks way better panda's never quiet are you panda you're just always talking and singing so these are the little girls that we have that one back there itching is her ear tag number is 888 so i don't know fun to me but i love her she's really pretty can i one, go in there in a minute and then there's a little baby one she's the youngest in the corner there but they go in at night still because they're still young and i'm not too 100 percent that a coyote couldn't get in and try to get them so so that's the goats, the babies. We're still working on names, so. Hi, huh, pretty girl. They're fun. We're working on taming them, so. Jimmy. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my quick update on what's been going on, and I promise now that school has started and life is gonna get back into a routine, I'm going to do better at uh, creating more content for the channel, so. Thank you to those of you who have stuck around with me even during my radio silence of a summer and I look forward to chatting with you guys throughout the rest of the fall. I hope you have plentiful gardens and huge pumpkins and are just enjoying this time of year because it's my favorite. So have a great rest of your day guys.